right here we have Anna Nalepka. Am I saying that right? Yes, you are. Anna Nalepka. Um, you're playing Contessa Gutierrez I in, am. Our, in our Seven Cities project. Um, we welcome you. We're glad to have you. Thank you. Uh, on board. Um, I want to ask you, uh, how did you first hear about uh, this project? And what made you want to get involved? Um, actually, I believe I saw an advertisement for it. And um, when I went for the audition, I read the script and the sides. And it seemed very intriguing. It seemed a little bit different than some of the other stuff that I had seen out there. It wasn't the same old... Um, you know, boy meets girl and happy ending. It, it actually had some meat to it, which I really liked. Yeah. Um, you're coming from a pretty far distance, uh, North Carolina, yes. to come into uh, the Seven Cities area. I mean, we're conducting this interview as we speak in Virginia Beach. Um, what's the inspiration to come that far from that distance um, to do a project like this? Well, number one, I love Virginia Beach. Always have, always will. Okay. But um, the whole premise of the film takes place in Hampton and in Virginia and um, it's just the vibe over here you know I'm originally from New Jersey so it's not too far away from here but the whole vibe of Virginia is alive and it's different levels different layers so right. I really like it and hopefully you know from the project some more filmmakers are coming to the area and bring some money absolutely you know that, absolutely <laughs> yeah, that, that's the important thing um, your character is uh, Coleman's maid Contessa um, uh, you've had, you, you've been with them, you know, quite some time in a relationship there professionally and, you know, personally, uh, with his family. Um, how do you really feel about Edward and Angela Coleman? Um, Edward first and then Angela. Uh, Edward Coleman, he, um, has a lot of layers to him. He's not, he can be very hard when he has to be, but he also has a very vulnerable side to him that not too many people see. Mm -hmm. And only someone on the inside as in Contessa could see that. Um, she's very protective of him, very protective of him. And they have, they have a relationship built on trust, right. which is pretty hard for him. Yeah. Only you, two eggs, Contessa? Now you know you need to watch your cholesterol, sir. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Oh my God, Mr. C, what happened? I'll live. I'll get you a cold pack and a good stiff drink, and I'll bring it up to your room. Thank you, Contessa. Contessa. Yes, sir. Have you ever been in love? Excuse me? I mean, have you ever loved someone and, and couldn't tell them? Are you, um, trying to tell me something, sir? Oh, no, no, not you. I, I was referring to someone else many years ago. Who? What happened? Oh, forget it. Never mind. I forget I said anything. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, sure. In regards to Angela, I believe Contessa tolerates her because she has to. <laughs> right. Um, she doesn't have a dislike for her per se, but just for the fact that Contessa's used to being the queen bee in Edward's life. And right. she has to share that role for right now. Right. Tolerate is a good word. Um, it's a strange word. T typically, it means I, I put up with somebody, mm -hmm. but I don't really like them. Um, <laughs> I guess, is that what you're saying, basically? Well, for my role for Contessa, I don't think she has a dislike for Angela as a person. Okay. If she was outside of the role of Mrs. Coleman, I don't think she'd have a problem with her. Right. But anybody who fills that role of Mrs. Coleman, again, just the protective nature of Contessa, mm. she has to share the responsibilities. And right. that's not something, again, Contessa's a very strong woman. Mm. She doesn't like sharing the alpha female role. Right. You mentioned Contessa's a strong character, and she is. There's a lot of uh, depth to this character um, that we have yet to delve into. Um, but let me ask you, she, she, the character is having some personal issues, mm -hmm. um, probably causing her to do some things she probably wouldn't ordinarily do, um, without giving away too much of the plot. Uh, what do you think drives people typically to do things way outside of their character? Oh, um, I know it's a loaded question. but uh, No, it, it's a fair question. I think mainly your determination. Mm -hmm. um, I know as a mother, you know, on that aspect, you do anything for your children, but even outside of that realm, 
for your parent, for an elderly parent, um, necessity. You do what you got to do to get the end result. And if it means putting some of the um, ideals that you had of what you will and will not do on the back burner to get help for a certain person, mm. if you have that strong personality, you'll do it. How's your mother? Not fine. I go over there yesterday. She tells me she's out of meds. So I go to get the prescription filled. $80 a pill. I can't afford that. I don't know what to do. That woman has been there for me since I can remember. And I would do anything for her. I don't got to tell you about loyalty. Um, how much of Anna Nalepka is in this Contessa character? If you had to compare it to <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, some, some. So? Um, I would consider myself a very strong woman, mm -hmm. a very alpha female sort of protective type. Mm -hmm. um, but again, with Contessa, she also has a soft side. She cares genuinely about people, which I do. Mm -hmm. um, but push comes to shove, she's not going to lay down. She's going to fight. Mm -hmm. No, I cannot. Excuse me? Unlike some people, I have a job. Do you treat all of your guests like this? Like what? Never mind. Just finish cleaning up. Usted es una mujerzuela. Have a nice day. Will Contessa be the type of woman to uh, have children or take on a husband or do those type of things? She could. Um, she definitely has a motherly instinct. Mm -hmm. um, not so much in regards to a wife, but more of... I could see her being a mother and being very fiercely protective of the child and, and her family unit, mm -hmm. you know, whether that's an extended family or a biological family. Mm -hmm. um, in regards to a relationship with a husband, I think for a while she could, but again, depending on if the husband is tolerant of a strong female. Right. <laughs> you had to add that little uh, yes. tidbit in there. Um, what projects have you worked on in the past, speaking from the uh, Anna, your personal life? Uh, what projects have you done in the past that you may want to plug and let people know about? Well, I have done a film called Puddle Jumper, and uh, actually my son was in it as well. And I'm also um, going to be doing a film called Big Money in Raleigh, where okay. I, I play the office manager to a bunch of crazy people. Again, <laughs> another very strong female role. I okay. seem to get these roles. Right. Um, <laughs> and um, what else? I'm also doing a 3D animation, a voiceover for um, a, uh, a warrior princess kind of deal. The title isn't done yet or whatever, right. so that's pretty cool. I'm looking okay. forward to doing that. So that's coming up for you this... Uh, yes, and also for um, in Virginia, I'm doing a film called Convenient Chicks. Convenient Chicks? Yes, I play the mother of a very harebrained young lady, and I need to kind of get her back into... Again, a strong female to, role. Yes. To get a harebrained female back into Yeah, place. I kind of need to, to straighten her out a little bit. Oh, okay. All right, so you have some things coming up. You have, yes. have some work uh, that you've done, quality work. Uh, we're very proud to have you. We're lucky to have thank you, you uh, thank in you. that regard. And we want to thank you for being part of the Seven Cities Project. And that's Anna Nalepka, ladies and gentlemen.